see here in a minute. No mask. All right, we're live, everybody. Yeah. We're gonna wait for some followers to show up here, but uh, Carol Freeman, Berunji, Berunji. <laughs> we have two Burungis. That's crazy. I oh have two Burungis here today. But we're three comics talking about the World Series of Comedy, the Satellite in Phoenix, and whatever else you want to talk about, too. So uh, we're going to share this live. This shows our viewer count up there, which right now we've got nobody. So we want people here before we start talking. Well, so because you share, add, this, share this out on... Uh, you gotta here, I'll, I will share it on... Um, I will tag you both in it, and that will allow you... My go. name is Tom Burungis. D. Keith West. Oh, no. Well, you're ruining the whole podcast now if you're not two Burungis. That's how I built this whole White thing. Well, my middle name is Burungi. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, okay. Here, I'm just going to tag you both in this, and then you can find it on your feed to share. Perfect. Okay, do Why? So uh, I, you, you keep asking about his name, but I'm like, why do you keep the D? D. Keith. So I keep the D, D because he's my favorite uncle. He's no longer oh, with us. Oh, okay. So that's way to make why. it sad. But I've always gone by Keith. It's not up to me. Is that up to you? Right. It, it kind of is. No, my mom hated my grandpa, and he went by Keith. So she named me after her brother. Okay, go into your Facebook. Okay, I'm there gonna we turn go. Share it, just share it if you, yeah, share it out. Um, Wait. This is riveting. I can't, well, we've got a couple people. Give Tell us me. a comment so we can see who's there, and we're here to answer your questions, but talk all about the amazing World Series of Comedy. And, uh, okay, we share now. We got right. it. You got a tag in this. There we go. And then you can share this out on your own feed. And uh, I'm the female having to do tech support for these guys here. So um, I saw you, know, you didn't give I'm the out. wrong immigrant. I don't know. <laughs> I saw hey, you welcome. didn't give the black guy a mic, and that's just fucked up. I know, right? Oh, well, that's right. We got to share I, the yeah. mic. I keep forgetting. So, yeah. uh, I'll, I'll do, I'm more coordinated. Okay. So. <laughs> That's an anti-woman thing you did. What? No. They're not coordinating horror stories. I am just more coordinated. Oh, we're I losing we're it. losing viewers here. I'm sorry, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining the show. Give us a comment, a thumbs up, something like that, so we know you're here. Tell us where you're joining us from. And uh, I'm going to try to interview these guys. We're, we're, we took an hour setting this podcast room up because apparently we're missing a cord for one of these, and one of the headsets didn't work, so... Yeah, here we are. We're sharing a mic. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, we'll make it work. Um, and Keith's special, so we had to give him the headphones. Oh, so. that's rude. That's really rude. special. <laughs> that's rude. I have a golden voice. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll start with some questions then until we get some from the audience here. But uh, I'll just start with him. Uh, no, I've known you longer. All right, um, let's do this. Go ahead. Yeah. All right, Burunji, I know you're from Seattle. How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, too long. No, actually, not long enough. Um, I've been doing comedy for, I think, seven years. Awesome. Yeah. Your first year World Series of Comedy? This is my first World Series. I, I've been seeing other comedians post about it, and I was, I was, I was like, I'm going to get on it. I'm going to get on it. I bookmarked it. Never got to it. Okay. So this time, I was like, let's go. I'm going to do it. You're finally good enough to uh, start out in round two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I was supposed to be on Wednesday, and then they pushed me to something. Yeah, so I think somebody dropped out of something. I, Keith yes. dropped out, so they moved me up. Um, so I'm on the Friday show, 730. If, if anybody's watching this, you can still get tickets and come to uh, Rick Bronson's. Yeah, Rick Bronson's House of Comedy. It's in Desert Ridge area of Phoenix, North Phoenix. Yeah, so I don't know where that is. It's a, the, the series is, is the largest... Uh, U.S. and Canada co comedy competition festival. Festival, okay. Competition. Oh, festival, okay. And the main event is in Vegas, Las Vegas, in September of 2023. And then they have a bunch of satellites. So I don't know how many, 17 or more no, different well, cities. There's multiple cities. Yes. I know they. I'm, I'm in San Diego right now, and I know they got one in San Diego you're, too. You're actually in Phoenix right now, but um. Yeah, but, I'm in the Phoenix one, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was not, hoping I'd get into the San Diego one actually. That way, I would have to uh, pay for a hotel and transportation and all that stuff. But. Instead, you're just sleeping in this tiny little room with the the rest of us for the whole weekend, right? I uh, know this. Uh, yeah, after the podcast, I'm gonna put my mattress on right here. <laughs> Is well, this is actually, this room <laughs> rotates and this is the mattress behind us. Yeah, yeah I apologize, guys, if the seats are a little <laughs> sticky. Um, it's my bedroom, man. I do with it what I want. The uh, 
So the event here, I don't know if it's the same in all the cities, but it started on Wednesday. There's a show. Wednesday was a wild card round. I was in that. There were 16 comics that did five minutes each. Too I did. The, I did. Yeah, I didn't progress. Oh no! But it was so fun because the judges are amazing, and they hang out afterwards and give you feedback of oh, what no. what yeah. they liked and not liked. I don't like feedback. You don't like feedback. I don't. Yeah. I loved it. I personally loved it. Yeah. And you get to hang with the other comics that are hanging out as well. And so then the Thursday show was last night, uh -huh. and that was nine comics each did seven minutes, and two seven. two of those. Oh, let me back up to Wednesday. Of the 16 comics that performed, five of them got spots on later shows this week here. Last night, there were nine comics that did seven minutes each, and two of them were selected to move on to the semifinals, which are on Saturday. Which uh, which two moved on, do you know? It was, oh, I saved the screenshot. It was um, Drew Schaefer. Nice. And Kenny, um, Kenny Mock. So Kenny nice. Mock is out of Columbus, Ohio. And Drew Good Schaefer, job, Kenny. And Drew Schaefer from Sacramento, California. So they move Let's on. Let's go, Drew. <laughs> They move on to Saturday. All the Drews out there, this is for you, my man from Sacramento. I should tag him in Drew this. Drew Schaefer. And yeah. then Baruji is tonight. We have two. Ooh, there's two yeah. tonight. So yeah. there's a 7 o'clock show and a 9.30 or 9.45 show. Yeah. And this is considered round two. And you're doing seven, seven or ten minutes. Okay, seven minutes tonight. Yeah. Let me look at the My website. understanding is uh, first seven minutes, then ten minutes, then sa the last show on saturday is 25 which is right yeah. to me is insane you go from 7 to 10 then 25 because right. <laughs> yeah yeah that's they say that the goal of the the festival is to identify people that would be features for club work and so that's oh. that's why they want to see that you can do 25 okay at the end of it yeah so tonight we've got yeah 7 30 show uh Burungi is on the first one We've got some Phoenix comics that are out here that I know. So Spider Jones, he actually was on the wild card show with me. He progressed nice. to this one. Uh, Tim Lucas, we saw also. He was from the wild card round on Wednesday. He progressed. Very kooky guy. I didn't I didn't see a set, but you saw a set. Uh, okay. Very funny. He looks like the Nutty Professor, I think. Oh, very and, funny. And uh, some other people I know. Sandra Rizzer, who's a local I Phoenix know, comic. I know Anthony Schumer. Do you know Anthony Schumer? Yeah, he's from Washington. Oh, Shelton, Washington. It does yeah, say that. Okay. yeah. We we actually done a show together in uh, Shelton. Okay. A bar show, rowdy ass bar show in Shelton, and here we are in uh, good old uh, Arizona doing a show together in a competition. Uh, he did uh, uh, the Edinburgh Festival in Scotland. Right. Yeah. For he, real. Wow. He went back to where his parents came from. Um, <laughs> Anthony, I'm glad you you went back home and uh, met your ancestors and uh, got to do some comedy over there as well. Uh, let's see who else. We've got Anthony Ladone, Ladone from New York. Yeah. Julian Michael from Los Angeles, not wow. to be confused with Julian Michaels, the personal trainer. Yeah. And then Chris Kerr is at St. Louis, Missouri Sears. tonight. St. Louis, Missouri. Sears. Yeah. Sears? Okay. And then 945 show tonight as well, which is also seven minute performances. Right. Kat Schindler is a local Phoenix comic. She was on the Wednesday show. She progressed. Let's go, Kat. Derek Knight from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Yeah. Carlos Gasparri from New York. New York. I, I've heard of New York. New York, yeah. New York. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, big city. Uh, this name, I Aditya, Aditya Shankar, Shankar. New York, New York. I'm going well. to I'm a, I'm a, I'm a go on a limb and, yeah. and say that they're Indian. And then uh, Ira Summer, he's out of Alameda. Uh, Ira Summer's out, out of Alameda. He's. I feel like I met well. Ira. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I met. Ira. So, what's up, um, Ira? Yeah. So he's tonight. Okay, sorry. Then Alexander Malt from Santa Monica, California. Again, this is the 9:40 p.m. 9:45 p.m. show. Dale. 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 Dale Dim. <laughs> Dimkowski? Dimkowski. From, from West Hollywood. Oh, we well, WeHo. West, I know West Hollywood is WeHo. WeHo. And then Hannibal <laughs> Collin, Callens from o Orlando. Or Orlando. 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 Try it again. Yeah. Hannibal Callens from Orlando, <laughs> Florida. Florida, man. Let's go. Um, Rob Edwards from San Bruno, California. So that's San all that's Bruno. on tonight, Friday. Again, House of Comedy in Arizona. And then there's the Saturday. So the early show on Saturday is the semifinals, six comics. Ooh. Oh, we've already got two that are placed already. Kenny Mock just skipped right over yeah, the yeah. Friday shows, and yeah, he goes straight to the semifinals. Oh, right. 
Drew so Schaefer. Drew Schaefer and Kenny Mock are the ones from mm -hmm. last night that we saw right. progress. So they're doing 10 minutes. The others will be chosen from. So it looks like two comics from each of those shows. So for your show at 7.30, yeah. at nine comics, two people will get to move on to the semifinals, and then the second show as well. Nice. And that so, would be 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, and then the, the finals will be Saturday night, 9.30, and right. three comics will be doing 25 minutes. Right. Good Lord. Yeah. That was, who's God confused? Bless, God bless those, <laughs> those people. Who's confused? We lost all of our followers trying to go through all that. So. Well, that's yeah. when you find out. I'm sorry. That's when you find out um, if people are good at comedy when you do 25. Yeah, 25 is, is a whole thing. Yeah. Well, let me introduce. Yeah, go ahead. I might introduce Keith then next. Uh, Woo! D. Keith. Where where are you where are you out of? So I'm out of Las Vegas. How long have you been doing comedy? So I've been doing comedy for three years. But the reason the three years, I've been a comedy fan my whole life. And the reason three years, I got on disability, which is all another story. So I got on disability and I can't sit and do nothing because that's crazy. And I have a lot to do, a lot to say. So that's what I got into comedy. It's not a great story, but <laughs> <laughs> so you thought it was so easy. You saw all these other idiots out there doing it. You're like, I could do better than them, which is yeah, usually well, that's true. That's how most people start. Right. Yeah. Comedy is the only thing that you know someone can see you do it and be like, I can do that. Like you right. never fly on a plane and see the pilot and you're like, Oh, next time I'm gonna fly this plane. Right. Well, actually, <laughs> probably, right? They think so, so they do it that was a pretty bumpy landing i think i can do better next time yeah 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 yeah, yeah uh, but comedy definitely is easy to try That's yeah all. but then it's very humbling once you try yes <laughs> yes so you you were joking about not wanting that oh i'm supposed to be talking to him again yeah uh, so you tell us about you performed on several satellites then i have which tell me more of that so i the first satellite was oreo oreo i always forget what it's called in mm -hmm. las vegas and I did that, and then I did the New Orleans ones. I'd never been in New Orleans, so I went there and performed there. And then after that, I went to Sarasota, Florida, and performed there. It was awesome. So you have more stage time at World Series of Comedies than the other two of us combined, because yeah, right well, now I have five minutes on stage, World Series, and you have zero. Zero. So well, I'm smarter and I have a better <laughs> voice. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> So what was, Keith, what was your strategy for the satellites you did, your performances you did? Yeah, so I worked a lot on getting my tight five. So I did, I've done the World Series twice. So the first year I didn't get on at all because I had a concussion and it fucked everything up. Can we cuss or no? I cussed a lot. So not in my set, I don't cuss at all in my set, but I cuss a lot. So anyway, the first year I had it screwed up because um, I had a concussion. Anyway, so then for the second year, I was ready to go and got my set tighter. So, go. for the so that's it. You're you're just wanted to have a tight set. Like what? What does that mean? Like we're gonna have a lot of people watching that yeah. aren't the comics. So and even comics don't know what a tight set means. Is. So mostly jokes. <laughs> it's mostly jokes. So I tell stories about having MS because I have MS. So you didn't ask me, but I'll tell you. So I have MS. So I have MS. I got diagnosed when I was 18. I'm 144 now. So listen. <laughs> so it's pretty good. And um, mostly people just like to hear my voice. So I tighten up this set is the question. So the tighten up this said you get rid of extra words that aren't funny. So you make it short with your set with being funny for five minutes. Nice. Does that answer the question? Do you have anything to add about like tight, tightening set? Actually, well, let's ask. I'll ask you. What's your approach going into the the competition? Uh. I don't know. From what I've learned, uh, you probably, I don't know what the rules are. Are you supposed to use the entire seven minutes? <laughs> Serious question? Yeah. yeah no, You're one of those me. people. So Berenji walks in doing starting at seven. I did had to do, I started right. with five. Yeah. And they will, they'll have a pre-show meeting, which you probably got the information about, but they, they, you'll get a light 
So for the seven minutes, I'm not sure if they got a two minute light or a one minute light. That's a good. Question. I was I was watching that's, last night. That's, and that's normally why, yeah. it's a one minute light. No, that's why I'm asking because uh, from the few competitions I've done, uh, depending on how strict they are on time, because some of them, if you go over time, you actually lose points. Right. So you if 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 they say seven, you're probably shooting for six right. or five, uh, just depending on what the rules are. They do. Uh, oh. Go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to take it. So. So now it's um, if you go over too much, yeah, they'll stop you from going forward. So mm -hmm. that's so they'll bounce you. Yeah, but then some competitions uh, well, they don't want you going too below. Right. right so right. so you're not same, doing three minutes. Same. So you yeah. just have the light come on and you can get off whenever you want. Yeah. When the light comes on. Yeah. So generally it's a one minute light. Yeah. Because uh, with seven minutes, I'm not sure. Yeah, because uh, uh, Sick did this, uh, the Seattle International Comedy Competition. I think the first round you can do, I think it's like three to three to five or something like that. And some people, if you have a tight three, you do that three and walk off. That way you're not going over time and you're doing your best material. But it's also risky because it's like, does did right. they do three because they don't have anything more? Right. Or is that, you know, they just have so much faith in their tight three. So sick is Seattle International Comedy Competition, right? Yes. For those, yes. Uh, and so they did in the pre-show meeting for our show. They said it sounded like they wanted us to do our time, but definitely don't go over that. You're going to get a one-minute light for the five five minutes. One minute light, and it's the last. It's it comes on at uh, one minute. Yeah. And right. then it starts to flash at 15 right. seconds when you've got yeah. 15 seconds left. And then if you go too much over, yeah, they're gonna start taking points off if you go over your time. And then they said uh, the host will start to clap. Yeah. That doesn't mean you're doing a good job. It means you should get off stage. Oh no. And if the host actually actually come on stage, if you're still talking, that's when they say you're you're canceled in the series <laughs> and you don't get to progress on any further. No, I, I've been to I don't know uh, if you guys have been to those mics where they play music once you go oh, over. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was at a comedy cellar uh, earlier this week for the first time for their mic. And I went over and they played the music. <laughs> I hate it. It's the worst experience ever. Everyone I've seen so far did really well. Nobody went over their time at all from what I've seen. And I watched the Wednesday show, yeah. obviously, and then last night's the show, last night's show. So everybody's doing well, respecting the light. Are you going to be the first one to burn it, Berenji? No, I think I can do seven. It's just a question of uh, there was no question, you know. <laughs> uh, is uh, I just I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, comedy clubs are weird. It's like the one right. place where they're like we're very sensitive about time, but guess what? We're going to use a light for this. It's like there's clocks with mm. numbers on them. Just put a fucking clock either below or above. Right. That is the as straightforward as it because sometimes you see a light even if someone tells you like hey it's a green or blue or whatever. Right, I like the clock more. So in Las Vegas, um, Wise Guys has a clock. Yeah, and that's so much better I yeah. think than a light. So yeah. with the clock and when it comes down is when you have to get off. If you don't get off, then yeah. you're bouncing the next time. Yeah, because any comedy club you go to. When you're standing on stage, there's like ten different lights, right. <laughs> and they tell you there's one light which is the one you're looking for. So they halfway through, depending on how uh, used you are to the uh, comedy club. If it's your home club, you probably know what's going on. But if you're like visiting, you're like, oh, was, is it the green one, the red one? There's like a yellow one, and then uh, yeah, it's, it's confusing. No, it is tough, and then you realize the light is on, but yeah. you don't know when the light turned on. That's yeah. the hard part. So if you don't know, you don't know. It's yeah. difficult. Well, the thing I've noticed from this one is that the World Series of Comedy, the, the whole uh, staff that's mm -hmm. doing this, they travel around every location and they bring their own equipment. So okay. they bring their own light. And so it's it's a really big light yeah, that you can see right. pretty mm -hmm. clearly. But I think that's a funny thing of like, who was the person who decided that we're going to use the light? Was it pre, did it predate clocks? Uh, yeah. Because comedy was at night and you couldn't see the sundial, so they had to have a light that turned on. Is that why they use a light instead of a clock? And then no it idea. depends. So it depends on the night. So it's either David or Kevin that'll come up to you and they start clapping, and then they'll get close to you and tell you, wrap it up. If you don't wrap it up, that's the problem. Shout out to Kevin, originally Kevin. a Washington comedian. 
and uh, I guess he's the moderator. Like, uh, there's two hosts for the right. World Series of Comedy. There's David Kausgard and uh -huh. Kevin Eggleston, and both right. Barunji and I know Kevin from. He originally started in Seattle. I don't know if he tells anybody that anymore or not, but <laughs> he's probably embarrassed. He's like, yeah. <laughs> so from what I've seen, they alternate nights. So Wednesday night, Kevin hosted, and then after all the comedians did their set, then David got to do a closer set, uh -huh. and then. Joe Lowers, who is the CEO of all the World Series of Comedy, goes up at the end. Oh, my gosh, you guys, this is the, the comedians do a great job. But Joe goes up at the end and does this like killer crowd work set. And the audience Children. just de destroys the entire audience. So mm -hmm. if you're still on the fence about whether you want to come out to the show, it's it been so fun. So yeah. he, he's like a surprise at the end. And he just icing what, on the cake. One of the things they tell us for the things that they're looking for, the judges are looking for, they don't want us doing any crowd work. They don't really want you interacting with the, the crowd, which that's, is different. That's crazy because my closer was crowd surfing. <laughs> I'm just going to fall into the crowd and hopefully they push me along to the back. That'll be acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's, no tr crowd nobody's tried that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. The original. Yeah. Even on the 25 minutes, no crowd work. No, no crowd work, period. Damn, okay. Because they don't like crowd work because it can go great or horrible yeah. at the club. So at the club level, they don't like crowd work, and that's the idea. Yeah. So, anyway, so. And they're, they, the way they've explained it is that they, don't worry did about you break it. your phone? No, it is a charger. I'm trying to. Oh, okay. Yeah. But Don't do that. We're on a good. podcast. It's been a good, no, we're good. We're good. I can, there's plenty of outlets in this whole building. I know, could have, go ahead and talk to me over here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Did, you, go ahead. Did, you, <laughs> did you bring your your Seattle outlet chargers? I know that they're different up there. Yeah, um, it, Arizona has true? everything is different here. Like yeah. our outlets are yeah. totally different. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> I want to know did how. You guys just bumped my. Almost. <laughs> yeah, we did. I said, yeah. All right, bumping my. So, uh, <laughs> have you seen that show? I want to know how Arizona doesn't have to change time because I want no one to change time. That's just a stupid thing. That's all. What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> so, he doesn't like that the, the daylight savings time, I think, is what he's talking oh, about. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. I was on the board of the Alzheimer's Association for Arizona and Nevada, but I never knew if they were on the same time. So I used to come to Phoenix once a month, but I always had to check to make sure we're on the same time. That's all. But we shouldn't, no one should have daylight savings. Speaking of clocks versus lights, uh, daylight savings time, everyone. Now, we do have a club out here that does have a clock. Okay. So, Mic Drop Mania, which is the same owners as Mic Drop in San Diego. Woohoo! Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, I like yeah, Mic so Drop. Shout out, Mic Drop. This is me trying to uh, big you up so I can get booked over there. <laughs> I just moved to San Diego, so I'm, I'm, I'm still working, networking, getting to. You forgot to say, this is Barunji Barunji. <laughs> Barunji Barunji, yes. Uh, just the one and only. He runs marathons. I don't. I wish I could. I, 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 I have bad feet. He That's actually right. ran from San Diego to Phoenix <laughs> in only four hours. That's so. how I got He's here. Very fast. Wait, yeah. I think that's a stereotype. I shouldn't. Uh, no but it's out. true. It's true. If if you see anyone with a shiny forehead like this show up at a marathon, just leave. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna win. You know it. <laughs> Once you see the Kenyans, Ethiopians, Somalians show up at a marathon, it's a wrap. Just go Tell grab a speak. beer. Tell and watch it on TV. <laughs> he oh. sets me up sometimes. He asked, I'm not going to say what he asked me to ask, but there was a, a dude at the Wednesday one and he told me to ask a question that was kind of inappropriate. But I'm like, we're comics. And anyways, he's trying to get me canceled, I think, while he's in town so he could just go back to Vegas. It's it was gonna not, happen. He was not happy about the question. I'm not going to say. Oh my no. God. I heard about it. Yeah, that was, <laughs> let's not put that out there. Uh, it's true, though. To, it's true. Not try. Oh, by the way, you guys were talking about, uh, uh, was it, what's it called? Time, time, what? The time, sa daylight savings. Daylight time. savings. Uh, that shit happened to me one time. I was with a, another comedian, and we were going between states, oh, and okay. we, we're like, oh, we're in good time. We're strolling, we're chatting, and then halfway through, we're like, wait a minute. Uh, I think we were coming from Oregon, going to uh, Montana, one of those, and we kicked in. We're like, we lost an hour. So all of a sudden we have one hour less. Now you have to, to drive there. ninety miles an hour. Yeah, yeah. And then we got uh rained in. There was a big storm. We're driving through, I think it was a national park or something like that. It was scary. Uh we get there. <laughs> yeah. College scary. spell, Montana. Have you heard no, I, I know I can't spell. 
Exactly. It's very small. I thought Kalispell was in Canada. No, oh. it's in Montana. Yeah, we get I'm, there and the crowd is seated, been seated for an hour. I'm from Oregon. I don't have any uh, geography training at all. Yeah. Is Oregon where they hump uh, horses and sometimes the horse stomps them to death? No, that's in Claw, Washington. Washington. Yeah. And in them, and it's, it's funny you know that. Yeah, because I've performed in Enumclaw. No, well, no, it's required to actually move to Washington. There's a quiz you have to take, and it's like, what city in Washington did the guy die while he was having intimate relationship with the horse? So yeah. we all know that. We Any know comedian that. watching this, do not ever do a, a horse humping <laughs> joke in Enumclaw. They hate it. Right. They hate it. If you want to make one, it better be good. And don't hump a horse. That too. Uh, don't well, do it. He died with the horse humping him. It was the horse well, was having a good time. Well, now you got me. So listen, a lot of times is what happens is the horse when he's done stomps the person to death. Oh. This one, big penis killed him. But listen, <laughs> it's true. Oh, <laughs> we just got one more viewer here. Yeah. Uh, hey. Welcome to the show. Tell us where you're joining us from. Give us Is a your cable pull out. Oh, oh yeah. no, you did. Right. Oh, can you hear me? No. Yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, do you still hear? Can you hear us? I've never heard. Oh anything. yeah, somebody somebody tells you, you can hear us. We could be doing this entire thing and none of the audio be coming through. I did that once. Oh, that would uh, be embarrassing. Oh my god. Oh, three people. We got three. three. Okay. Can somebody come? Somebody tell me if you can hear us or if not. If you can because... hear us, let us know. Yeah. Uh, we're also open to me. questions. Oh yeah, okay. it's these going. Are, these, are stupid. these are stupid. As you can see, this is a professional production. Carol <laughs> <laughs> on the, IT. The level of professionalism is that only two of our headsets were working, and yeah. one of the mic cords is missing. So that's why we're doing this very professional. Yeah. I don't know what you want me to say. What are you looking for? Somebody tell me you can hear us. Like, give give me some kind of a sign that there's life out there. On oh, we dropped. I've never heard. Yeah, we lost one. That's yeah. okay. Oh, listen, we lost another. <laughs> listen, here's the thing. You should listen because we've got some really cool things to tell you about comedy and life in general and what not, Tom. There you go. There you go. In them clothes, gonna love you if you ever visit. <laughs> so, back, so back to your strategy. So you're yeah. in. You're starting around two. You get seven minutes. You just whizzed right in past the wild card round. So your strategy is, yeah, to to perform tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll be fine. I'm, I'm excited. I did, uh, I did a few warm up shows. So when I came in, I stopped by. Uh, thanks for the recommendation. Uh, Star crazy, stir crazy, yeah. star crazy. You, yeah, we, we can. Okay. The knockoff version is star crazy, but stir crazy. So did you get up there? Yes, I did. Oh, uh, that's great. Star crazy comedy stir, club. Stir <laughs> stuff, <stop>, right? <laughs> stir crazy, like stir a pot. You're uh -huh. stirring the pot right now. Star it? crazy, <laughs> stir, stir, stir the pot. Yeah, stir crazy. Star. <laughs> I'm not from here. English is, S -T -I -R. English is not even my second language. It's my <laughs> sixth language. Seriously? <laughs> so no, say, it's not. Stir, He's lying. say stir crazy in all the other languages you know. Stir crazy. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I saw my uh, shout out Lamar. Lamar, uh, what's his full name? Lamar, Lamar Mitchell JR. Yeah, Lamar okay. Mitchell JR. He also a uh, great mic over there. Uh, it's, it's on a Tuesday, right? Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday night. Uh, what's the mall called? It's, uh, it's Westgate. Mall. Westgate Mall in Glendale. Westgate Mall in Glendale. If you're ever looking for a comedy show, go check it out. I got three minutes on there. Uh, awesome. It was fun. Great crowd. Always a great crowd there. Oh, yeah. I yeah. got a burger there. Too. How many it minutes? Too bad. I think three. How many minutes did you get? I, I did three. And then uh, last night. How many minutes? <laughs> I lasted for three minutes. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, last night I did 17 at a. Uh, a bar show. Oh, nice. Yeah, the Rob yeah. maybe puts on at uh, Butler's Easy. So yeah. shout out to Rob. Shout out, Rob. Thanks for the stage time. That was, uh, you know, fun show uh, in a rowdy bar. Uh, it was good, fun, good workout. Fancy cocktails there at yeah. Butler's Easy. Butler's, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just a nice, nice spot. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Rob said you did phenomenal last night. Um, yeah, I mean it was uh, it was a uh, uh, bar shows are bar shows. You know how it goes. Uh, you know, Survivor is the name of the game. So we had about seven comics. Did go you up. jump into the crowd and have them? There was not enough away. people to jump into. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was one of those shows. But you know, they build character. I like their shows because it's it's right. it's about perseverance. I'm curious more of 
going into seven minutes, like, do you have a seven minutes that you're going to do, or are you just going to kind of feel out the crowd? And, and so for example, I, on the Wednesday show, I saw the different comics that were like their different strategies, right? So yeah. I saw, I'm not going to name names because it was, that's what they do. But like uh, one, one guy was literally, you know, just writing out his set, like trying to figure out what he was going to say that day. Yeah. Uh, another one, actually he progressed. So I'm, I might as well say what, what he did. Cause I was so impressed, like spider Jones. Yeah. Um, he's watching, he's watching videos with headphones in while other comics are going up. And I'm like, Oh, is he like watching his inspiration videos of like things he does jokes about? Yeah. And I ask him, and he goes, oh, no, I'm just watching whatever show. I'm just catching up on episodes. But yeah. I can't imagine where I'm at in comedy that I get so anxious, nervous, excited that I couldn't sit and watch a video of a TV show. I, yeah. I'm like, I'm in my head. I'm, I'm going through my set. And he's so calm, cool, and confident that he's just like, yeah, I'm going to catch up on my binge watching shows. And he crushed it. He crushed yeah. it. He moved on. And he went straight to the, what is it? So, not semifinals, whatever yeah. round it is. So. Yeah, I mean, so 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 some. Uh, that's the thing about so one thing you can never learn. Comedy. Learn in comedy is timing. Uh, you just feel it. So if he's done the jokes multiple times, he feels them. So for instance, I know my first three minutes. I just don't know after that, like what direction <laughs> to go. I know my first three, and then I think I know my last two. So the question right. is the thing in between right. there. Uh, but you know. Um, yeah, seven seven is doable. What what is your pregame? What did you do during pregame? Before, right. Uh it depends. Before if you I, go to the mic. Before I go to the mic, no, it's just uh, you know being present. Um, you know, more uh, like spider, more like spider than. Yeah. So I no. See, I'm the opposite. So I go over my set. I know my fucking set, but I go over each word. Mm -hmm. I'm fucking nuts in the head. So yeah. It's not no, whatever works for you. I mean, uh, different different comics do different things. I right. definitely like to uh, big myself up. Uh, so, you know, I'll go outside, you know, uh, stretch a little bit, you know, just, uh, you know, get get some oxygen. Just um, I might have some. I like instrumental music. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like Internet. music. Yeah. I never would have guessed that. <laughs> See, right up and down in elevators for a while. Just hear some elevator music, some music. It depends where I'm at. Sometimes, if you ever see, if you're ever somewhere close to a comedy club or a comedy show, and you see a guy in an alleyway doing weird shit, <laughs> that's probably me. I'll just go out there and just do. Do it. not shoot him. Don't, don't. I hate that bullets. Yeah, you know, the they don't. They don't go well with my skin. Um, <laughs> I think some of it too is like experience in comedy. So you're three years right. in, I'm five years in, you're 75 right. years in. Yeah. You know, the more experience you've got, the more stage time you've got, the yeah. more confident and you don't get right. as much anxiety. I think, I would assume. No, you you, you have the anxiety. It's just you, uh, it, it's uh, yeah. what they call it. Uh, it's good anxiety. Mm. You know, it's, right. it, it's you have to learn how to corral it. And yeah. Make, and you're fine with it. It's yeah. a weird thing to say, but it's totally true. Yeah. Good time. Yeah, I mean, one way to think about it is like you're you're at a comedy club. They sold tickets. They've been selling this show for months. We got nothing. Um, keep going. Yeah, yeah they've been. Oh, yeah, we're be more, keep going. yeah, they've been selling the show for months. So people there to laugh. They're so, on your side. It's it's right. game time. You know, so, so whatever energy you got is good energy. So here's the question, and this is what I have trouble with because I'm three years in, but after I go on stage, I can't turn it off, so I don't sleep well. I don't sleep well anyway, but yeah. I don't sleep well after I go on stage. What yeah. do you do to come down? Uh, like I was saying, so before the show, I like to listen to upbeat instrumental music. So I'll do like a hip hop instrumental. Uh, I'll do all kinds of any kind of instrumental. No, I wasn't talking about pre. <laughs> I was talking I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Give me a chance. <laughs> so that's pre-show. Pre-show, I want something hyper, but no lyrics, you know, because I want to be in my thoughts. After the show, that's I right, wind so. down. Yeah, Literally, good. I'll go like, like I'll listen to white girl music after a show. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'll, what does that mean? Spice Girls, whatever. <laughs> when when I'm in my car going home, I listen to really mellow music, like very like all the way down. Uh, like I, I bring so basically beginning of the show, I'm like up 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 hyper. After the show, I just bring everything down. But it comes <laughs> down just in the right home. Because I sit yeah. in bed and I <coughs> first separate over everything. Yeah. Just conversations that you had before the show, during the show, whatever. There's there's two ways to two things to do with that. One, 
<laughs> oh, gosh. COVID. Uh, <laughs> there's two ways to deal with that. One is you can try to bring the energy down, which is what I was talking about earlier. The but second how long option. Do you have to do that. Is my question. It's up to you. You have to find what works for okay, you. Right, the right. second thing to do, which I think would be the best thing, which I'm not good at, is you use that energy to create more comedy. Mm. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. So if you're feeling hyper, you're like, oh my God, that was a great show. That energy, if you sit down and write, I'm pretty sure you'll come up with some great yeah, stuff. Yeah, but that's my problem. So mm -hmm. then I sit in bed and you're saying do comedy. And that's fine. I do comedy a lot. When I when some of the good thing comes up, yeah, I have to write it down, no matter if I'm in bed or not. I need to write it down. Yeah. So but that's what I do. But if I change my energy to comedy writing, I'm not gonna sleep at all. Yeah, that, that's uh that's uh, that's something you gotta work so, on. So so you didn't help me at all. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just told you what works for me. Uh it's a lot like uh it's a lot like uh, even <laughs> regularly going to bed. You know, it's like a lot of people, for me, 8 p.m., I switch the lights off. Uh, not not like all the way down, but I start. No, no, no. I start. It's okay, like a right, plane right. where you start descending. <laughs> don't let me. Do, don't let me. I'll say 9, nine, nine or 10, if I don't have a show and I'm at home. Well, 9, 10, I start, like, turn the lights off, turn the computers off. Nope. Just, like, slowly de-escalate no, uh no, stop touching the mic yeah <laughs> and then he turns on the stage lights you grab your microphone you get in bed <laughs> he does the opposite he just right. turns it off right <laughs> it means there's nothing i can do i listen i can't corral my own brain mm -hmm. because i'm listen i'm disabled and i don't deserve this this bad energy <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but uh, <laughs> but uh, magnesium. You know about the food. And stuff. I also wasn't asking take you some to magnesium, be my doctor. Man. I do. I do take magnesium. I wasn't asking you to be my doctor. Listen, <laughs> I have multiple sclerosis. I was diagnosed when I was 18. Now I'm 44 years old. Hey, I Keith, don't need that doctor. Keith, I'm beginning to I'm beginning to think you have MS. <laughs> I suspect. I'm not sure, but <laughs> he, he uses it. You think he'd use it to pick up women, but he uses it to pick up men. Oh ah. yeah. I actually he uses it to have men pick him up. I, I saw it on Wednesday. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no, it's not nice. Because I don't want to ever be picked up, but but men decide they want to pick me up, and a lot of times there's nothing I can do about it. And they pick me up. Are we talking about picking him up physically or? Yes, physically. And, because I flop and, like a motherfucker. I flop and, ah, ah. <laughs> and then they try to pick me up. Listen, then, wait, don't scream, pick me up. You scream like a girl and then you wonder why they pick you up. Ah, uh, yeah. Because here's the thing. Look, I don't want to be picked up. And a lot of people pick me up and give me some butthole love. And then I really don't like Facebook that. Facebook doesn't like you talking about uh, that. No, that's uh -oh. true. Listen, yeah. listen, uh, I don't care. It's true. And listen, listen, I have multiple sclerosis. And here's the thing. Let me tell you about this. Real That's quick. a lot. That's a lot of sclerosis. Not, not so one. I have not tattoos, two, but, multiple. but I only have them on my left arm because when I have issues with multiple sclerosis, I get them on my left side. So anyway, I don't have tough man tattoos. That's normally what people do. Not me. I get stupid, ridiculous tattoos. And they're important to me. That's all. Nice. What do tattoos say? So this one was my first one. There we go. Show them guns, bro. <laughs> and this is an MS ribbon. Okay. The MS ribbon. Always a fighter. Never a victim. MS nice. brain. Let's go. I was diagnosed July '97, the second time. Okay. So yeah. then an elk. Elk. You call it a deer, yeah. but it's an elk. Also, uh, him taking his shirt off is a theme that's happened in Phoenix this week because that uh, <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> <what, no, laughs> oh, geez. Joe Lauer's got upset at him yeah. because of the afterhang. <laughs> afterhang. <laughs> so no, my this, is, this is one of the things I think is really cool many things about this but one of the things that's really cool about the world series of comic is the I judges go out tattoos. after the show and then over here and i've got a uh this was done by the ink masters he won the third one. Oh, nice and this is a berserker with a 
Is that a Viking? Is that a Viking? Kind of, yeah, because I'm Danish and Spanish. Uh, and then this last one, this on my arm, is what my brain does to my nerves. So this is a demyelinated nerve. And so my brain needs to line it off. Interesting. Welcome to Keith's TED Talk about yeah. <laughs> multiple sclerosis. So what I what Joe Lowers is the CEO. Anyways, the judges all go out after the show. Oh, nice. If you're not too busy in your after your bedtime routine, the judges give feedback to the comics that want to hang out. And one of the one the, one of the judges, Jason Roland full page of notes on your set like i'm so impressed like how can he write that fast awesome. his brain is amazing he remembered my submission tape and gave they gave me feedback on that and he's like you really improved this and that from your submission tape and you that new punchline you did i'm like he remember i don't even remember my jokes in my submission tape Damn. and he remembered them and the punchlines and how i changed them and so anyways that's one of the really cool things about this is that the the comics that want feedback, the judges will go hang out afterwards and the hosts and share their tips for getting better. And they notice that too. So when you yeah. actually take what they say and get better at your next submission or the next uh, satellite, they, they like that. Which is awesome. Because typically you don't care what the festival says. I don't. But <laughs> but I do with World Series of Comedy. It's the weirdest thing because they're very good at giving you critiques. Yeah. And then what's uh do you guys know what the, the criteria is like uh yes. i'm guessing originality blah 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 what, what's that scale look like i so i know from what they offer is optionally when you submit your tape so world series of comedy to even get into this you have to submit tape of your comedy the and sex tape. Yeah. <laughs> mine wasn't that's weird as okay as now, now we know why you got to the second yeah. round faster <laughs> and so i got the feedback from that and based you know on how i got in I, I just submitted R. Kelly's tape. PP, ah. he's saying PP on the hand. <laughs> yeah, they were like, oh, we've seen this one before. Um, so, PP on the cabeza. So mm -hmm. some of the things from the feedback they gave me helped me know what they were what looking they for. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to find here. You talk for, well, this, uh, oh. this is Keith's world. We're just living in it. So. Mm -hmm. Well, that was kind of rude. But listen, I'll tell you what. So there are a lot of different feedback, and we'll let them give you the feedback. But they're looking for a great five minutes. And we'll talk more later. But listen, that's the whole thing. So I bowed out of Phoenix because I have, what's it called? Multiple sclerosis. <laughs> no, yeah, that's true. But no, it's um, the trimenagel. So I have trimenagel neuritis, neuralgia right now. Neuropathy. No, so yeah. so it's neurosia. Wow, so, is that the notes? Yeah. So anyway, so, so yeah. I have things because I have multiple sclerosis. But really, what happens is I have multiple issues. So yeah. um, so sometimes I bow out. That's yeah. all. But Kara is looking up the notes of uh, the notes that. So, yeah. These were some specific notes that another comic on that has done the World Series of Comedy in the past oh, okay. shared. So what is so first is things to avoid. So this is specific what the judges for this are. They basically take points off mm -hmm. in your submission tapes, tapes, but also in your performance. So checklist comedy. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's like David Letterman checklist style, like top ten, like basic things that it, all comics use. So don't. I know what them. you're thinking. Well, yeah, that's that's of, also right, on right. here. So, yeah. um, being easily distracted by the crowd, so you may interact, but don't like, don't yeah. veer off your set from that. Crowd work, they don't save that for after your showcase has earned you paid work. Yeah. So nice. don't do crowd work in the competition festival. Pants. Your yeah, wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pants. Uh, just uh, yeah, just focus on your prepared material. Overly local references. So mm -hmm. this is right. one that I was noticing. They don't work around the nation. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So don't mention like. Hey, last night I was at a show in Chandler, or, or I was in right. that. Unless, right. unless it's obviously something that is constructed in the way that wherever you're performing, you can edit, you know, yeah. put the local reference right. in. Yeah. And callbacks. So they actually say callbacks in a showcase don't work. So don't do try to do a callback in a five or seven minute set. And then red flag statements, which I have another slide for that about that. Let me look that one up. I yeah. thought we already talked about that. But red flag statements are like um, things you shouldn't say. Like, that all comics use like um 
Yeah, I know. Um, I don't know here how we go. Explain it. Red flags. Uh, these habits tend to make bookers and judges think you are just tied more to Mike scene than the club scene. Yeah. So I know what you're thinking. Oh. I, I know what I look like, which is interesting because I used right. to, the statement I used to open with, which always gets a big laugh, I cut out because of this. Yeah. Give it up for, make some noise for, where are my ex at? Where are my weed smokers at? How many yeah. times have you heard that one? <laughs> and right. use questions as a premise for your intro permission seekers. You mm. know what I mean, right? Have you been to Walmart? <laughs> uh, opening your set with an icebreaker that is completely out of context with the rest of your set, stylistically point of view. Huh. Okay. Okay. It was your question. No, no, no. This it was is your good. question. No, this Be is nice. Good. Yeah, these are good. These are good. Uh, good pointers. And there's another one that says, "What are they specifically look, looking for?" So, okay. um, are you memorable? They also yeah. want, like, the current trend in comedy is stuff that is very personal to you, like stuff that only you can say that's funny. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have an element of, of, you know, your personality in there, who you are, what makes you unique. Um, yeah. what, would you would they play well in my market? Did mm -hmm. I learn anything about them as a person? Uh -huh. Was there a proper structure of the jokes? Okay, yeah, jokes. You got to have good jokes. And the set was the oh, was the entire set cohesive? And do they avoid audience fatigue? Do you have something to say about audience fatigue? Are you guys getting tired of us right now? <laughs> no, because I'll tell you what, I got multiple. So anyway, so I had a joke that I cut, and I think it's a funny joke, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't work with cohesion. It wasn't my persona. So I could tell the joke, it doesn't matter. So um, I don't know, you want me to tell the joke? Yeah, I'll go tell ahead, joke. tell it. So basically, the joke is talking about gum, and now I gotta think. So, so when I was little, I used to chew gum a lot, and then I heard that it was supposed to stay in your stomach for seven years. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what I did. So I had my mom get a bag of Big League chew. She brought it home. I chewed and swallowed the whole bag. How long do you think it took to come out? Doesn't matter. Next day. Came out the next day. <laughs> Were you saying you're blowing bubbles out of your booty hole the next day? No, that's rude. <laughs> so anyway, so it didn't take seven years. And I didn't know that it, the fla the flavor stayed in the gum and still tastes like grape. Did that your girlfriend joke? find that out? Does that? No. <laughs> what? One, yeah. one more about what the bookers are looking for. There was nothing new. That was, <laughs> oh, that was good, good segue, right? <laughs> uh, thank you for the personal stories. I guess this is, that's one of the things they're looking for. Very memorable. Isn't but it? that's what I cut. So talking to Jason, that's what I cut. I think it's a funny joke. It doesn't matter. It's not. It didn't go the cohesively. It fits the criteria. One, it's original. All right. right. You're memorable. You're, you're the asshole gum uh, <laughs> tooting right. medium uh you know it, it but that's checks. what i cut i don't do that there's anymore. no crowd work involved this is just you <laughs> talking about gum coming out of your butt like, there's no local reference there's no local reference in kingman arizona chewing the gum yeah it's just straight personal uh original uh emotional yeah so personal but again, <laughs> but again i cut that it's not in my set anymore no. So don't come out and see him in Vegas and expect to hear that joke at the World Series of Comedy right. the main event. Uh, yeah. Just a couple more things. Are <laughs> I've got funnier jokes now. That was all. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. stop. Both of you throwing your mics at me at the same time. That's embarrassing. Huh? Yeah, okay. Um, What's uh, <laughs> Personal stories for material. So they want to know, they want to know who you are. Yeah. Um, don't use overly local references. We talked about that already. Don't yeah. play to the back of the room. So if you're not a comic, that means don't tell the jokes that only the comics are going to get. Back of the room usually is where the comics are standing. So a lot of people at open mics think they're crushing it because they make right. the comics laugh, but comics no. don't laugh at stuff that audiences are going to laugh at. No. Work on the fundamentals of joke writing. Think of a narrative arc to take the audience upon and explore unique and interesting pr premises. So be memorable. Make it personal. Yeah. So I didn't tell anybody about my MS for 13 years. <laughs> so now it's crazy because that's all I talk about. Everybody only knows me as multiple scrolls. Okay, listen. So basically, 
uh, now I brought out that I talk about multiple sclerosis and that changed everything. So look to things that are personal to you that people can relate to yeah, and, and talk about them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it would, would be just really weird if you went up on stage and didn't even mention it. People would be like, does he even know? <laughs> does yeah. he know? Right. I can't hide it now. So it's crazy. Even getting on stage is hard for me. But anyway, I, it's better to talk about the monkey in the room. I don't think it's monkey. The it's, elephant in the room? I, I think <laughs> it's a tiger. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So I talk about it yeah. because then everybody's on the same page and can relax. And what I had trouble with originally is getting people to laugh at multiple sclerosis because they they their buttholes pucker and, yeah. and they just don't want to laugh they because they don't feel like it's free to laugh no i want people to laugh well and when you I'm pronounce it as clearly as you do there's nothing funny to laugh about it i do say it well because <laughs> because i practiced for 25 years not on purpose it's not by choice but anyway i can say it now but mo but neural normals cannot it's the weirdest thing. I love it. Same multiple sclerosis. Nice. Who's, uh, if you don't no, mind. No, no. Here's it. Same multiple. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I See? told you already. It's not my language. Yeah. <laughs> it's not your language. What the fuck? Star crazy. Multiple sclerosis. Right? Multiple sclerosis. <laughs> multiple scrotums. <laughs> See? I, I, Hey, man, I'm not right. from here. That's my excuse. Uh, it's a good excuse. Yeah, that's... He's not from here. He's from Seattle. That's why he can't say. I can't. No, right. I'm not from Seattle. I mean, <laughs> I've been based in Seattle, but yeah. Right. So I forget what we're talking about, but we can talk more about it. No, we're talking about uh, multiple sclerosis. <laughs> yeah. Sclerosis? So, so I didn't talk about yeah. it, but now I talk about it. I think that's what we're talking about. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you have to I talk remembered. about personal things to you, whatever yeah. they are, and they're not multiple sclerosis. But listen, yeah, yeah. don't don't steal his jokes. No, I was gonna ask you. Uh, what, don't steal what, anyone's jokes. No, I was gonna ask you what your your inspiration is, because I know there's a couple. Of My inspiration is to show that disabled people are people. I could give you story and story about how people ignore me because I'm in a walker. Yeah. So my inspiration is to make people laugh, obviously. Yeah, I meant in, in terms of like specific comedians. Because uh, usually when you see, it takes seeing someone that looks like you, at least for me. Sk skipping sprinkles. Where I see someone that either looks or acts like me, and, and that gave me an inspiration that, hey, I can do this. Who was that oh, person? Oh, the inspiration with comedy? Yeah. Yeah, so specific. because actually, so... Josh Ballou. That's really what I was funny. thinking. I didn't want to. Right. <laughs> right. It's different though. Yeah. He has cerebral palsy, but he's disabled. And it was great to see somebody that's not mainstream, perfect, like Hollywood likes to show, because there are a lot of us. I know. I, I my kind of like you. My uh, inspiration came from a, an African American comedian uh, called uh, Josh Ballou. <laughs> that's a twist on well, his joke. That's... You know he's African, right? He jokes about it. I think he was born. That's how he got it in the first place. I'm I first. think you're. I think I'm not you're kidding. Doing, I think you're doing great. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've never heard that he's African. No, he was born in um, Liberia, one of those countries. No, he was. Yeah, and his first special, he talks no. about it. Uh, yeah, fact check. You don't know your hero? Come on, man. No. I just want to say he's great yeah. and really big dick energy on stage and does everything. And he inspired which... both of us <laughs> for different reasons. Don't listen to him. He's yeah, lying. I, he's like your age. Yeah, yeah, yeah Josh is. Blue. But he's been doing comedy for twenty five years. Early life, Cameroon. Born in Cameroon. Get the fuck. Out of <laughs> <laughs> I got him right. Cameroon is that those co those cookies? <laughs> no. West Africa. Yeah. yeah um, anyway, so I was wrong, and I'm sorry to say <laughs> no, but I can do that because I apologize. Great, I'm a great apologizer. Yeah. And really, uh, you would never guess 
well maybe you, you do but listen yeah you wouldn't because he's a white guy i would he normally don't so where's south africa maybe that's yeah. kind of right south africa is a lot of white people where you used to be yeah yeah that that's an odd one i think his parents were like missionaries or some shit. oh um, you're right and actually. that's how we end up over there you're 100 right yeah evergreen yeah. state crazy wow he went to evergreen i didn't know that yeah i'm glad we share the same comedy yeah that's so funny uh, that's so funny it's like it's we're this, buddies oh yeah yeah so Me you got you. josh blue who else you got um well my favorite comics aren't disabled yeah but um i like josh Blue because he's disabled and i'm disabled but i like uh other comics that talk about things that are personal uh-huh and go from there actually some black comics yeah i thought that would there you go <laughs> <laughs> like which ones who's your favorite black so comics? uh patrice o'neill patrice o'neill yeah yeah that and obviously that. everybody's favorite is um What's his name? Cat Williams? Chris no, Rock? No, he's Eddie bigger Murphy? than that. He's bigger than that. In the 80s. No, he's bigger than that. Yeah, who could this be? Uh, Bill Cosby. He no. doesn't want to say his Bill name. Cosby. Bill Cosby. No, yeah, no. shout out Bill, yeah, Cosby. Bill Cosby. <laughs> We're glad you beat that case. <laughs> so what exactly did Bill Cosby inspire you with? Um, like... What's his name? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out his name. Short dude? Chris Rock? No. Kevin Hart? <laughs> no, everybody Ruben knows him. <laughs> so he, he wrote, he wrote, um, he wrote Blazing Saddles, but he's not on the thing with um, male. Pete Bomoy? No, no, no. no, no. Um, he's bigger than that. Oh, so, he's alive. Richard yeah. Pryor. Pryor. Richard Pryor. 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 Not alive. Oh, Pryor. And yeah. he died having MS. You don't die from MS. Yeah. But anyway, he died with MS, and super funny. Richard Pryor, that's Richard my, Pryor, that's, right. a, that's a good one. Which Carol, is not, yeah. So I had a, I had a comedy coach say I couldn't like Richard Pryor because I'm not black. That's not the way it works. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's just crazy. And I could even talk about things that shouldn't be banned. For example. So the movie. Oh boy! I Get ready, it, everyone, as the live stream just cuts. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's toy toy where Richard Pryor, the white kid owns Richard Pryor a little bit. Oh, that movie. Toy. And the beginning of that movie is fucking sad. I'm sorry, because it's sad. That's not the part that I remember as a kid. I just remember hating that rich kid. I hate that white kid. I, I don't I don't see color. It's, nobody likes that. <laughs> That's one of the things nobody likes. But, no wonder he couldn't tell that Josh Blue was from Africa because yeah, right. he can't see color. Yeah, so anyway. He yeah. won't even call him Josh Josh Blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so that movie's canceled, but I saw the movie totally different. And I think most people did. Everybody hated the rich prick. They called him Josh B word. <laughs> Josh B word. Right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, which is crazy. That's canceled. That movie's canceled because the um, beginning of it is sad. Mm. When he's like, I don't want to do this, talking to his wife, and it's sad. So I get that. Just yeah. take that part out. I haven't yeah, seen that movie. I haven't. You should see the movie. It's a great movie. I How about you, Carol? You what's, your, what's your inspiration? Who's uh, who's this uh, people that? Well, similar to Keith, people that that look like me and um, you know, similar personality. Robin Williams and um, Carol Burnett. <laughs> I, I grew up with a family. We we had no culture besides stand up comedy. We didn't talk about politics, religion, geography. Uh, it was just stand up comedy all the time. It was Robin Williams, Eddie Murphy, and Steve Martin was all we listened to right, growing right. up. We would go camping in the woods and take cassette tapes of Eddie Murphy. Uh, probably to this day could recite every word on his raw album. And so is that true? So, so are you saying you say the N word a lot? Nah. <laughs> 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 no, uh -oh. no. In the forest. She, like, no, she said I could uh, recite the whole thing. In the forest <laughs> alone with her family. Yes. I don't remember that he says the N word that much on oh, uh, I don't think you've seen uh, it. Yeah. Okay. What was this other one then? That was a trap. Uh, I set myself up for that one. You did. You totally did. I, my first You're time on a big yourself. theater stage, I actually wore like leather pants because I wanted to look like oh, him in Ross. Yeah. Right. 
if, if, if you can recite it, that means you said an F word too. Oh, I do. I'm just not trying to say double G. It. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I have said that, but yeah. my roommate's gay, so I'm allowed. Um, oh, no, that's how it works. No, I don't. No, no I don't. No, I know absolutely one. Absolutely not. I've got one gay friend, so he. No, I don't. That is not worse. So that's some, why we can't say multiple up. sclerosis. No, oh, no, you can't say that. Allowed. You can't say that. But so there was a comic that showed up and was like, "My cousin is disabled, so I can say retard." No, you can't. And he should never say that. But anyway, that's not how it works. I was just jumping in. Sorry. How many cancelable words and topics can we get on here? We got the Enam Claw horse. horse yeah. Oh, I forgot the, about that. Let's Bill talk Cosby, about that. We got. Let's go down the list here. Shout right? out Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> he hates white. He hates white people too. <laughs> I know, but. <laughs> I'm getting a call from my agent right there. Just yeah, that just cut, 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 up. cut. You have an agent? Yeah. I, I oh, I, I'm sorry. I I mispronounced bill collector. Oh yeah. So here's the thing. Does anybody know a Carol that's young? I know a few that are old. I know this Carol now. I'm but not most old. Carols are seventy plus. Well, like Carol he, Burnett is a fan of yours. I just met him on Wednesday, been hanging That's out with woman. him for two and a half days, and uh, that was woman. that was he said he didn't know anybody less than 145. Oh, me, you're talking 145. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, including me. So, right. Uh, I've Carol, that that's crazy. Keith has two catchphrases listen, listen, and mm. which uh, one? the other one? I don't know. Monster Skull. <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised right, I can't say right. that shit. No, you did. <laughs> I thought I could. In my head, I, I was like, I can do it. As soon as I started trying to say it. Again, so I've had 25 years of practice. Now I'm very You good. ever watch uh, West, West Wing? Go ahead and say it again. <laughs> no, you ever watch West Wing? The, 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 the it's West series? West. Oh, okay. <coughs> Have you watched the series, though? It was, with, named, um, it was, it was named after you, right? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I, so I don't watch any movies or any TV. But Never? Yeah. Well, I had before. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just talked about it. It's, pretty, it's a pretty neat one. It's it's the best American president America has no. ever had, and he's a fictional president. But yeah, so, <laughs> yeah right. That's the way. It and works. he has MS in the end. I don't oh, know if it's in true? the end. Yeah, at some point he yeah. gets sick, and um, but he's still president. Uh, he's played by uh, I'm not Charlie sick. Sheen, Charlie Sheen's dad. I'm not sick at all. You know what I'm way. saying? Come on, no. <laughs> Wait. So you're saying that. Everyone with multiple sclerosis knows everyone else with it, and also every character ever is always their favorite. Seriously. So, do you know Corday Snell? He was on the Wednesday show. Hmm. No, that's not what I meant. You that know exactly what, what I meant. <laughs> that is what you No, because we were talking about like no, 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 because we were talking about normalizing shit, right? That's what we were talking about earlier. Really? So. Yeah, yeah, because that because we I don't even understand what that means. Because we talked about, like, uh, you say it yourself. You say you want people to understand where you're coming from. Right. And da, 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 da. So uh, for me, seeing uh, an African-American president, a Kenyan president, shout out, yeah, a Muslim <laughs> president, now I was like, okay, now I dig it, you know? And so, he was funny. He was really funny. And he was funny, too. So that's what I was getting at. It's like in that series, you have a president. Right. Who has MS and he's still as effective as he uh -huh. should be. So um, I thought you were talking about Barack. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, uh, FDR was had something to it. Some yeah, point. he did. Yeah, and he couldn't well, stand. Polio. I know, he different, polio, but, yeah, right? but different, but kind of the same because we don't want to be seen as disabled in general. That's a broad brush. Yeah, but that's how it works in FDR. Same. So he also didn't want to be recognized as having a disability. So when they did a statue for him, he's in his wheelchair. That's not what he would have wanted. Yeah. I mean, who the fuck am I? But he yeah. would have wanted them. Shout so, out, FDR. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, uh, yes. He can still sponsor this podcast. There's weave openings for Oh, I did have something. You know, it's, I, I just realized I just started a comedy podcast today. Thank you guys for being my first guest. This yeah. is so much fun. I'm going to keep doing this. I don't care if anybody's going to listen or not, but this is fun. Yeah. Yes, it is fun. We're, we're going to sleep here. But listen, <laughs> here's the thing. So I'm not political at all. I don't like either side. Fuck both sides. Carol, you told me to say that. But listen, it's good that I don't like either side because they don't give a shit about us little guys. 
So it's crazy when people get. Uh, Keith is not a little guy. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I love both sides. It oh. Keeps the game interesting. <laughs> yeah, well, we're different. We're they got merch. I love the merch. You know, I I switch between you know the red and the black, I have the red tie and the, the blue black, tie. The red and the black. Yeah. Just, just to keep things, you know, even I'm I'm in the middle for both sides. You you're indecisive. Both, you That's what yeah, you're yeah. talking about. You're indecisive. Yeah. That's anyway, I don't give a shit about both sides. I love them. They don't love give them. a shit about us. I sweet. I I put on two screens. Fox News over here. MSNBC <laughs> over here. I love yeah. it, man. It keeps mm. things interesting. It does keep things interesting. That's true. Yeah. But I hate it. So my mom is right, but my sister is left. Perfect. And they yeah. fight about Fox News and CNN. It's crazy. It's yeah. just nuts to me because fuck both sides. That, that's why you don't watch any TV. I do not. You don't? You So you just read books? What do you do? No. Nothing. You just sit there and stare. He just, he just F's bees. Yeah. I'm trying to That's a great question. So what I do a lot is, is uh, masturbating. <laughs> okay, hey. here we go. One more topic. Checklist. This is checklist. <laughs> this is checklist podcast comedy. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, I got to start getting ready for the show. Uh, I gotta Speaking eat of that. All right. So any any last words? Last words. You're going to die tonight. So I'm going to. You can you're gonna kill the audience tonight, but no, no, no. Last It'll words. Be, no, last words. Uh, I'm looking forward to the show. Uh, you know whether I go ahead or not, it should be exciting. I'm excited to do it. Uh, so I'll be at uh, Rick Brunson's uh, House of Comedy in Arizona, and then um, Saturday or Sunday, I'm gonna get on the road and go to Austin. Oh, yeah. Is that your first time since post pandemic? I think so. Yeah, so I'll be I'll be doing a uh, comedian uh, residency at the East Austin Comedy Club. Wait, residency? Tell me more about that. Uh, I'll be there Thursday to Saturday. Oh, awesome! Yeah, so oh, it's like you I'm do. I'm so jealous. I want to go out there. You, you, you can right. apply. Apply online. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll talk to you after the podcast then. Yeah, East Austin right. uh, residency. Yeah, apply. Yeah, so everything I said, I'm a comedian. <laughs> so who knows? <laughs> who knows? But um, listen. Wait, so you're saying you don't have multiple sclerosis? No, it's fake. I'm <laughs> begging to be funny, and that's my thing. So, um, that was it. I don't even know. Yeah, what to say? He was playing basketball in the back before this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, D Keith West is my name. If you want to follow me, um, Instagram is ms strength underscore comedy. There we go. what I fall. So it's all about anyway. Keith, everyone. I didn't ask him. You asked. I asked. Yeah. Him, I asked him. <laughs> and, all right. So how do they follow you, Brunji? Uh My uh, handle is my last name. Brunji. Uh, yeah, Brunji. That's B I R U N G I comedy. Uh, that's uh, Instagram, Facebook, and on Pornhub. Uh, yeah, well, you can follow me, Carol Freeman Comedy. Carol has an E on the end. It's the very old lady spelling of Carol. And is and there a not old lady spelling of Carol? <laughs> Wait, say that again. You weren't on mic. Is there a not, not old lady spelling of Carol? I'm sure with two Ks at the beginning would be the not. Three I don't know. Three, yeah. <laughs> that's the, the youngest <laughs> version of but Carol. Embraces. It's the very hard K sound. Uh, anyways, uh, let's. Oh, we just covered all the topics, didn't we? Um, we did. This is great. Uh, thank you Maybe. for tuning in. Good luck tonight. Break Thanks. a leg with the proper, you know, murder kill the audience. Uh, I have a lot of faith in you. I haven't seen you do comedy in a while, so I'm. But also, yeah, I, I think you're going to do great. I'm excited to watch it. I know all the what the judges are looking for now, so I will tell you midstream who I think is going through. Perfect. I won't be there, but um, all the best of luck. Thank Arunji. you. Yeah. Kill it. And good All luck right. flying back to Vegas tonight, Keith. Thank um, you. Hopefully you don't want to take the I'm pilot flying. pilot's job when you're done. Well, I'm flying. Because the most listen, I have multiple <laughs> sclerosis. Is my that's my comedy set. Listen, and I fly planes. That's all. All right. Thank you all for watching. For the few that popped in and out, we may get some viewers in the future. So uh We'll see you all soon. I'm, I plan to go watch all the shows at the rest of the weekend at House of Comedy for World Series and also going to the main event in Vegas in September. And uh, got some more shows 
coming up soon. So, all right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. All right, or now. Li or listening. We'll see you next time. Bye now. There we go.